I won't say he's mad, but he's not mentally sound. He's not okay. He can't do anything himself. He's not mentally sound. And you know now, but you know, be fire. I don't want to be sleeping around with other guys from one guy to another. Anytime I'm in the mood, I'll call him to my room. Then you I will call the guy. That is not okay. You said this guy is not okay, right? Yes. He can't even speak what somebody can hear. No, he can't. What's up, guys? Is your girl Neye, baby? So, guys, I have this lady here. She she has something she wants to share with my audience. So let's listen to her, guys. Things that happen for this life. Oh, uh, I, I keep saying it. I always mention it. Things that happen. Let's be very careful in anything we are doing. Let's be careful. And people that come to share their story with um, my audience, it's not like they are the most bad people. No. It's just because they speak out. So I'm not seeing it as if you are a bad person or something. But my own is that if you say something that you are doing that is not good, try and stop it. Don't go back to it again. Okay, let's listen to her, guys. She has something she wants to share. This is very... Eh? Hmm. Don't make sure your name. Just go straight to your story. No, eh? please help me. I am in serious trouble. I need help. I see the way people come to your page and explain their story and how you help them and people advise them. I'm really ashamed of the thing I want to say now, but I have no choice. I've been thinking about it for a while now. Okay, please increase your voice so we can hear you very well. Okay, so there's this guy I've been dating, my boyfriend. We've been dating now for seven years. And before we even started dating, he promised that he will come and take me over to the, over there abroad. After two years now, I've been talking to him about it. He's always promising that he's going to come. When it's festive period, he's going to give me a time that he's going to come. I won't see him. He's going to, either he's going to tell me that he didn't give him leave or his boss um, has shifted the time he's supposed to come. And I've never cheated on this guy because he gives me everything I want. Anything I ask for like this, this guy does it. I am never lacking of anything. He's always there providing for me. It's just the same parts I'm lacking of. So, there's this guy in my compound. Okay, speak out. Your voice is too low. Okay. So, there's this guy in, this comp in my compound that I'm staying. I won't say he's mad, but he's not mentally sound. He's not okay. So we are not plenty in the compound. It's just me and his family. His father is the landlord of the house. And his family, they are usually not around like that. But the guy is very okay. If you see him physically, he's okay. It's just that his family is the one feeding him. They are the one clothing him. And they are, they are always taking care of him of anything. Because he can't do anything himself. He's not mentally sound. If you come close to him, you won't even hear what he's saying. Unless you have been with him for a while before you hear what he's saying. So, and my boyfriend, we've been together now for seven years. So, a few years back, I started, I'm the only one in the compound with this guy. His family is not usually around. His mom, she's usually busy. His father, the landlord, he has a shop close to the house. They are always leaving him around. So, since we are the only one always in the compound, I'm, he's the only one I usually talk to when I'm bored, when I'm not on my phone or talking to my guy. So, I started getting him things, buying him stuff. And, you know, now, but, you know, be firewood. And I don't want to cheat on my guy. I don't want to be sleeping around with other guys from one guy to another. And he's, he's okay. He's, he's an adult, so it's just that he's not mentally sound. So I started buying him things. Anytime I'm in the mood, I'll call him to my room. Then you I will call the guy. That is not okay. You said this guy is not okay, right? Yes. He can't even speak what somebody can hear. No, he can't. Then I'll call him to my room. I'll buy him stuff. Then I started teaching him how to nag because I couldn't wait again. After three years, my boyfriend, he doesn't have any plan of coming back to the country. 
so i'll buy this guy things chocolate things that kids like because he has a childlike brain so i'll buy him things like that then i'll call him tomorrow my started teaching him how to knock different things different styles and position and I, he's very fast at learning all this kind of thing he's very anything you tell him to do he's going to do it and we are the only one in his compound and his family members they always seen him around me do not suspect a thing because is they know that we are the only one in the compound and him too is not going to talk because he's he, that's like a child so nobody's going to suspect anything so the and the way he acts like you will not know that he, like he's retarded or anything he always, the way the guy acts yes but like he say he's not okay He's not okay mentally. He's not okay. He does even if he wants to talk to you, he's going to have to do a sign before he's going to talk to you, and before you, you understand what he's saying. But the way he knocks, as if he went to school of knocking. And me, I love knocking. Ever since we've been knocking like this, anytime like this, I want to call him like this. I I just have to buy him something, and he's going to come. He's going to come around. I'll get him things. Like, he's just like a child. Now, a child is going to do when you buy a child something. You know, when you always buy a child something, the child is always going to be around you. That's how he is. I just get him stuff and he's going to come any day, anytime I want. I'm already addicted to sleeping with him. He's always around me. And I'm always chatting with my guy. Anytime I want, anytime like this, I'm in the mood. I'm going to call him. And I'm still talking to my guy and we're still talking about the marriage plan. He's still giving me the same response. And this guy in particular, if the way he even leaks me, like you will not know that he's not mentally sound. He really does it. Like how a normal person, a normal guy is going to knock you. You will not know that this guy is not sound. He's very perfect. Like if you teach him something, He's going to grab it that second. Anything you tell him to do, any position you want, you tell him to do this, he's going to grab it. You will not even know that he's not okay. And his family, like I said earlier, his family, they are not always around. They don't know what is happening. They just go in the morning, come back in the night. It's always me and him in the compound. So, for a while now, I've been feeling sick. I went to the doctor, I've conducted tests, different kind of tests. The doctor, we've done, this. so the doctor called me to the office one day to conduct another test. Then he told me that I'm HIV positive. I was shocked. I was, I was crying in the office. I fainted that day. Because I could not believe it. When I got home. Did you go to another hospital to confirm this? I've gone to like three different hospitals now. They confirmed that I'm HIV positive. I'm devastated. I don't even know what to do now. So how did you contact it? That's what I've been asking myself. Because ever since I've been sleeping with this guy in, the comp this guy in our compound, I've not slept with any other person. It, he has been the one. Because like I said, I don't want to be cheating on my boyfriend. That's why I've been sleeping with Tole him. So I don't know how I contact it. I don't even know if somebody else is sleeping with this particular guy. Or maybe it's the person that taught him. I don't even know. Because this guy, I've been noticing like since when we've been sleeping with anything you teach him like this. He knows it. He's very perfect as any position you tell him to do. Maybe it's somebody that has been sleeping with him before that taught him. Because for somebody that is not mentally sound, he responds to anything you tell him to do very quick. So I don't even know. I'm very devastated. I'm depressed. Okay, so I don't even know how I contacted it. Because me and this guy, I don't kiss him. Because like I said before, he's not mentally okay. We just, he only licks me. And then we are, we knock. That's all we do. 
I don't even know I contacted it. And I've no I'm I'm looking for a way to try and go and conduct conduct test on this boy. But you know, I can't carry him out of the compound. His family will suspect. I don't know if I should hire a private nurse to come and check him too. I don't know. I'm confused. And even if I want to hire a nurse, I don't want the situation where his family members are going to catch me. They ask me what am I doing with their child? That is going to cause another problem again. And I don't know what to do. I am so devastated. And this is not how I used to be before. I used to be a big, very chubby person. I have I've been trying to take supplements, fruits to cover up. My family members like this, they've been complaining that I'm not as big as I used to be before. My friends, I can't open up to tell them what's wrong with me. Everybody has been calling me, but I've been shutting everybody out. I don't even come out the way I used to before. Now, anything you know you can do to help me or your viewers, anybody, anything they know, if there's a cure for this sickness, because my guy is coming back in the next few months. I don't even know what... The guy that is in abroad? Yes. He's, he's com coming back next two months? Yes. So I don't even know what to do like this. And you allow him to meet you like this? That's why I came to your show, because I usually watch your shows. I'm tired. I'm, I'm, I'm depressed. I don't know what to do. I don't know what I want to tell my guy. We've been chatting and now I can see from what he's saying. He said he has already booked his ticket now, that he's coming over. He's asking me to talk to my family now that he's serious, that he knows I've tried and I've been patient, that he wants to make a very elaborate wedding. I don't know what to do because when he comes, definitely he's going to want to sleep with me. Please, if anybody has a cure for it, they should help me. I am tired. I just want to go back to my normal self. Anytime my guy calls me like this, I don't even pick up his video calls again. Because I'll tell him that my phone is bad. He can't see me. My car. I'm just giving him a lot of excuses and he's already suspecting. If there's anything, anybody, any cure, I'm tired. Please, you guys should help me. This is not how I used to look before. I'm tired. I don't know what to do. Please, no, yeah, beg your viewers for me to help me. I'll beg them. Just, hey, guys, when I say things, they happen. I don't even know where to put them out. According to her, this story there somehow. Her boyfriend is abroad. They are talking, right? Yeah. The guy, they send you money. When they talk very well. Yes. And he promised to marry you. Yes. Just because she said she don't want shit on the boyfriend. She go to sleep with the landlord's son. That is not mentally sound. Yes, ma. You say this guy no know how to talk very well. Yes, he knows a bit talk. You go carry the guy like that. They sleep with the guy. Yes, and I'm very ashamed and I'm regretting it now. For how long have you been sleeping with this guy now? For close to four years. Jesus, eh? Four years. Yes, ma. The guy that you say is not okay. Yes. How na they do the thing? How na they do am? I want to know. Nobody they always there, so na only me and I'm they there house most of the time. And we know they always use protection. So now why? I don't even carry belay for him now like five times, but they always come out them. If you get belay for this guy, go come out them. Yes, ma'am. Up to five times. Yes. And now how come you are you have this disease? How come? Now wait say I no no. Now why I say maybe I go secretly conduct test for harm because I no no and I don't want me and family catch me if I carry and go hospital if I bring somebody come us. And they've have over four years now. You know they sleep with another person, not that guy. Now only around. You just buy biscuits, buy chocolate, the boy will follow you. Yes, because then they do like picking. I need to get a big bola. No be too big one, just normal perfect size. I need to be using them again. I'm waiting long me to The have. guy know where? You say this guy know where? Yes. He he's a be used bola. He's a be used them. Me gonna help me. Oh. Me gonna know look what I do. Me gonna know help me. I beg. I don't tire. I know what I do now disgrace. But me gonna help me. But you don't they take uh, medications now? Yes, I don't they take the one way doctor prescribed. The one way... You've had passed like this before? Yes, very well. If you see my picture before, I get body parts this one. Now, depressedness and everything. Now, it cost me like this. Guys, hmm. another one don't happen. No. Hey, now, wow. Hi. Is it not better say if you go to sleep with human being, as in another person way okay than the guy way no okay? 
They sing it as a bio. I don't even know what to say. But does it mean that another person is also sleeping with that boy? I mean, how come the boy have that? This, where did the thing come fly enter your body? Now I don't know. For over four years, you know, say this guy no day okay. You see the um, what and what and what this guy they do for yourself? He go just lick me and we go knock. And anything where you tell a me you do like this, he they do him. Now we lick he... where? Lick my pecos. Now you they tell him to lick you now. Yes, and normally guns he in sabi he like to they play with his tongue. So as I say, he like to they play with his tongue. I can't they teach him and. In sabi anything where you teach him like this, in sabi do him quickly. Hey, hey, chineke mo. Okay, I'm going to post your video, Sha. Guys, please, if you have any advice, advise her. Share this video also. But my sister, you know, try. Somebody that is mental, that is not mentally sound. You see, they go to him. <laughs> and the guy, they lick you steady. They swallow everything now. You go, they lick, they swallow. You go, they lick, they swallow. Hmm. Landlord son, Abby. Yes, ma'am. And since over, since that year, you are still living in that compound. You never pack out for once. No, now because of them, I no pack out. You don't want to pack out. Yes, ma'am. I don't. They regret them now. Guys, please drop your opinion on the comment section. Also, share this video. This one, leh. I don't even know what to say. Like now, I don't know where, where to start. I go post your video, but I pray God deliver you. You'll be fine. But you know, say what you do, no good. Do you? I know. It's no good now. One year, two years, three years, four years, you still they do this kind of thing. Hm. Thanks for watching this video, guys. And also, please help me share this video for people to see what is happening in this life as well.